Pastor Julian here with Central's Devotion for today. I hope you're doing well. Have you ever felt unworthy and that others were far more worthy than you are of uh, receiving blessing and God's grace and his attention and his love and his mercy? Well, you're not alone. I felt that way too. I remember um, many times I had uh, run into uh, Jewish people, Muslim people, um, and even Hindu people sometimes, and I'll see these rituals that they engage in daily, and a number of times daily, um, and how disciplined they are with these rituals that they perform. And I think, man, I don't do that. I'm a Christian and and I and I and I don't have this these rituals like they have it and 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 just how dedicated and disciplined and stringent they are. Oh wow, those they are they they must be far more holy than I am. They must be closer to God than I am. Um but that isn't the case. That's not what the Bible tells us. Uh, I want to take a look at a particular passage in uh, the New Testament that the Apostle Paul wrote. It's a letter to the church in Galatia. And it's talking about the, the law, which I'll tell you, the law, a big part of the law, are all of these rituals that the people engage in, these discipline rituals that they engage in. And... Uh, and he's saying here that uh, Jesus, um, the law is important, but the, the Jesus and the promise of Abraham has now superseded that. And that what is most important, not those rituals, those are not what's important. What's important is faith and God's promise. And uh, let me go back. So this is Galatians chapter 26, uh, <laughs> Galatians chapter 3, verses 26 to 29. For in Christ Jesus, you are all sons of God through faith. For as many of you, of you, for as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is no male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs to his promise. Oh, wow. This is incredible stuff. This is incredible stuff because now this is saying that you know, all those rituals, all those things that those other people do that you're like, man, I, I'm not worthy. I'm, I'm not with them. This is saying, nope, you're with them through faith. As a person of faith in Christ, you are now with them. Now, I'm not saying about, you know, I mentioned Muslim, um, but I was just remarking Muslim because uh, because they do have some of these very stringent rituals. Um but I'm not saying that they're included in this because the Jesus that they believe in is different from the Jesus of Christianity. And so uh, here we have uh, the Apostle Paul. First, he starts out like this. You see, um, for in Christ Jesus, you are all sons of God. So so he's using sons there. And you're like, women are like, oh, I guess I'm out of this. But then he's saying... Um, there is no failing male and female. You're all one in Christ. So he's bringing in the women. He's saying, hey, um, women, you are on the same level as men. A and that was a really big thing in this culture, in this time in the world. It isn't like it is today. You know, there is neither slave nor free. There is a big difference in uh, value between a slave and a free person and how important they were. Uh, so Jew or Greek, Jews uh, shun the Greeks uh, as heathens, pagans. They, they were not Jews. So um, this is saying that 
in Christ Jesus, there is uh, there is equality in him that we are all one together. It's not because of the rituals. It's not because of the, th those things that you might do. It's because of faith. That's the, the only um, contingency here in being one in Christ and being an heir of the promise of God as Abraham's offspring. The only contingency is faith, faith in Jesus. And that means that you uh, become a person of promise, that you receive the promise of God in Christ Jesus, the blessing that was promised, the salvation, and you become a person of promise, living under the kingship and lordship of Jesus. So um, you are worthy because uh, Christ has blessed you through faith. God bless you and have a great day. All right.